Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to enroll a Honeywell 6 smoke smoke and heat detector with the Honeywell Lyric alarm system. Uh, the 6 smoke, it's part of the 6 series lineup of encrypted sensors, and it's a smoke and heat detector. Um, so if it's a photoelectric sensor, which means there's a small light inside of the sensor, and when smoke enters the chamber, the light refracts, and the, system, the sensor knows to alert the system to the fire. Um, so that, that's how it detects smoke. Um, it also has a temperature sensor in here, and if it gets too hot, um, extremely hot, like as in there's a fire, then again, that will also cause an alarm on the system. Well, it'll send a signal to the system, and then the system will go into a fire alarm. Uh, so the first thing I just want to look at real quick, if we open up the, the sensor, um, you should see the LED appear on the light. We do. And it's blinking uh, quickly right there. Yeah, it's blinking quickly to indicate that it is not currently enrolled. And when the sensor is enrolled, then it will um, blink slowly. So right now it's blinking quickly. That means the sensor is not enrolled. When it does a slow blinking, which I'll show you later, then that means it is enrolled with the system. You can only use this with the Lyric. It's exclusively designed for the Lyric. And um, it's, like I said, it's encrypted smoke and heat detector. So um, we're going to enroll ours with our Lyric system today. And we're at the main screen of our Lyric. We're going to choose Security. We're going to choose Tools. And we're going to enter in our installer code, which ours is at the default of 4112. We're going to choose Program. And then we're going to press the down arrow. And we're going to choose 6 Programming. We're going to choose 6 Programming. And there. Now, now the Lyric is in a listening mode. Uh, it's looking for a 6 sensor to add. So we're going. there are a few different ways you can enroll the, the 6 smoke and heat detector. Um, we're going to do the tamper cover. If you're using it for the first time, you have, you'll have a battery pull tab that will use, can be used to power on the sensor, and that will send an enrollment signal. Or um, if, you, if you've used the sensor before, just uh, take out one of the batteries and then put it back in to power on the sensor, and that will send a signal. But we're going to uh, open up ours, and the way you do it, if you have it uh, mounted on the, the wall or ceiling, you press against the wall or ceiling with the sensor, and you twist it counterclockwise, and then you can pull off the, the cover. And we've opened up the sensor. Let's confirm that the green, the green LED is going. It is. It's rapid. It should appear on the Lyric shortly. It might take up to 20 or 30 seconds. So we'll wait. And there we go. We have our six smoke. And um, you see now that the LED is blinking slowly. The green LED is blinking slowly. That indicates that it's enrolled with the Lyric system. And you can also confirm there's the serial number for the sensor right there on this sticker. There's also this, it's, on, it's also on the side right there. Um, and you can see that the serial number appears on the screen, and they match. So we can check that if, if we really feel the need to. Um, that's an option. But with this sensor highlighted blue, uh, we press the Edit button, and now we can begin editing the zone settings. So uh, like I said, there's smoke and heat on, on the sensor. Uh, we want to use both functions, so we'll keep them on. If we didn't want them on, we could uh, turn it off by uh, pressing the, the green circle right there, You know, turning it gray and getting rid of it. That's an option. Um, the alarm report options, we want those enabled because if alarm report is disabled, then if this zone causes an alarm on the system and alarm report's uh, disabled, it won't report to AlarmNet. Um, AlarmNet forwards the signals to Total Connect 2.0 and or a central monitoring station depending on your monitoring plan. Um, and that's how you receive help in the event of a fire. Um, so really you're going to want to have alarm report enabled. You'll also see this verify option right here. Uh, so the way that that works, um, it means that um, it, it wants a second verification uh, if it detects smoke. So um, let's say there was a small disturbance. Maybe you just like burnt some toast or something, um, or someone was vaping in the house. I don't know. Um, and it, it got some smoke in, in, the, in the detector, and um, it just happened for a second. Um, it would have to be activated again within 30 seconds, I believe, um, or 30 seconds later again. It would check to see that it's activated again, and then an alarm would occur. It wouldn't activate on the first time. It, it's, it's called fire verification. So it's kind of a false alarm prevention. Just it won't activate at the slightest little bit. So um, we want ours. We will turn verify on just to show that you can turn it on and off. See on, it's on now. Um, and so that, like I said, that's fire verification. It's it's false alarm pre prevention. Um, you can use it if you want to. In our case, we'll turn it on. Uh, the descriptors uh, they determine uh, the the name for the sensor. So this is the name that the sensor will speak when you, uh, if it's activated, uh, the, what, what the system will speak, I'm sorry, the Lyric panel will speak if you have voice enabled. Um, and it also just kind of helps you identify the sensor. So 
Um, and you can choose any name you want. Um, so we'll choose uh, garage. 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 Uh, transmitter. Garage transmitter smoke. We'll do that. Garage transmitter smoke and heat. And you can name. It. Uh, let's do something serious. All right. We'll do. We'll do. Uh, we'll do bedroom. Garage. First. Garage. Well, garage. Clear. We'll clear in the upper right corner. Bed. 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 Bed bedroom. bedroom and. We'll clear out transmitter, <laughs> and there we have bedroom smoke and bedroom heat, because um, garage transmitter smoke would have been silly. But uh, you can name it something silly if you want. We won't judge you. Um, but um, you see, it also has uh, supervision. Um, so the, uh, and you can't disable supervision on this sensor. Uh, supervision. Uh, the sensor is always sending out a check-in signal with the panel. It's constantly sending out check-in signals. I mean, not like every moment of every second in time, but often within every at least once a minute, it's checking in. And the lyric needs to make sure that it's uh, powered on and within range of the system, and that it can receive the check-in signal. By the way, this sensor has a range of roughly 300 nominal feet. Um, walls, thick walls, and large metal objects can reduce range, so keep that in mind. But um, if, if the, uh, the sensor is unable to check in with the system and the system doesn't receive the check-in signal, then uh, you'll get an RF supervision loss trouble on the system. So keep that in mind. Uh, lastly, I want to point out the one-go, all-go function of here. So that means if uh, this sensor is activated, um, then all the other six smokes on the system, uh, they will also activate. They'll begin uh, sounding, and it has an 85 uh, decibel sounder built inside. So um, and that's a really cool feature, the one-go, all-go. People often get these uh, devices just for that purpose. So our settings are good. Uh, we'll click Save down here. And then I just want to show you the zones. Yes, zones, um, because it took up two, one for heat and one for smoke. And we have it on three and four there. And so we're going to back out to the main screen. And the last thing I want to show you, I, I need to show you how to test the sensor. First, I'm going to put it back on the back cover um, to stop the chiming. And we put it on, and we turn it clockwise. And there, uh, it should stop after I clear the trouble by doing uh, the master code. And I'll do that again. And there, our system's armed. Now I need to show you how to test the sensor. So um, this will produce a loud sound. So if you're wearing headphones, be careful. Um, and remember to put your system on test mode before doing this. You simply hold this button on the side right here for a couple seconds, and we'll put our system into a fire alarm for testing purposes. And just to be clear, if you uh, really want to test the sensor, you're going to need canned smoke or um, some smoke that you can blow into the sensor to actually test the smoke detection function, or you can use a hair dryer to test heat detection function. This is just to tr test the uh, transmission signals, but we're going to do that. And there we go. Um, so we're going to disarm with our uh, master code there. We'll do that one more time. And there. So we have uh, successfully tested our Honeywell 6 smoke, uh, smoke and heat detector. If you have any questions about the Honeywell 6 smoke, um, or about the Lyric alarm system, or about alarm mo monitoring in general, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.